Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, talking about the San Francisco 49ers. In this one, going to be talking about the NFL first and then the 49ers offensive line. That's going to be really quick, but for right now, this is the big news for everyone, whether you're a 49er fan. Patriots fan, Cowboy fan, whatever. This is pertaining about the preseason and roster size for training camp. First off, I'll talk about the roster size for training camp. On an NFL roster, it's usually 90 for training camp, and then they had to water down to 53, in this case, 55 for this upcoming season, week one. But looking at it from training camp, it's going to be watered down to only 80 players just to avoid the large gatherings due to this pandemic going on right now. So that's a pretty good move right there. You want to try to lower your contact with people as much as possible that would be a great thing also no preseason games so usually we have four as you all know i thought they were going to lower down to maybe two or one but they decided to do no preseason game so the nfl nfl pa were able to agree on that which is a good thing because what's the point of preseason a lot of people get hurt anyways and you get even large gatherings within it i mean even if you had no fans in preseason game because i mean who the heck would go to a preseason game just to see casual football play but Looking at it, I mean, 11 on 11 with a lot of players, a lot of coaches, everybody in one little stadium, one little setting. That's pretty dangerous right there. So, you know, I, that's, I, I guess that's a good thing for no preseason games. But anybody that's on the bubble, roster bubble, this could affect them in a negative way because they don't get to show their talents within the preseason. I mean, you do have training camp, but at the same time, it's nice to have a preseason, you know, for one or two games if that is what you're looking for. If you're a player, look outside looking in on the roster spot. But at the same time, player safety is number one. And I think it's the best interest for everybody to not be, have a preseason matchup. I think the players, coaches, everybody would be all right with this. Pay-wise, I don't know how that happens. I don't know how it works in the preseason. But I know regular season, you get a game check. But preseason is probably the same thing. But probably not as much because it's just preseason. But yeah, a lot of things are happening. This pandemic has affected the, this whole NFL league already. I mean, you have to go to a virtual draft. OTAs got canceled. Mini camp, I think got canceled as well. Training camp's going down to 80 players. Preseason, there's no preseason game. So we're just going to go straight to the regular season. Man, that's going to be some clunky football, I think, for the first week or two. But yeah, these are the big news for me. I don't know if this could be a football season. That's going to be difficult to say because this could have a premonition effect in, in the next month or two to say, oh, we have no football season coming up. But I'm pretty sure there will be a football season in some way, shape, or form. Will they finish it? I don't know. That's a really good question. But some teams are doing d drastic measures to make sure there's not a lot of gatherings within their football games. The Jets and Giants have already announced MetLife Stadium. No fans at all, which is probably the best interest for them because New York at th that time, a couple of months ago, they were pretty in the bad pandemic. But they calmed me down a little bit from all the numbers, all the accounts. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what they're reporting. And it's a good thing to keep the measure as low as possible. Other teams, Ravens, Chiefs, I think limited to a couple thousand fans. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're trying their best to do whatever they can. So, uh, a lot of things are happening right now. And we'll see what the next month or two about football season. Are they going to cancel it? Are they going to keep going? I, you know, my guess is they're going to keep it going. I would say maybe cancel it because this thing's not getting any better. It's getting worse. It just looks really dangerous. I mean, if you play week one, all those gatherings, you're probably going to have a positive test one once or twice. So, I'm not really banking on that. But, yeah, I mean preseason no training camp looking like no go too much and yeah that's all i have to pretty much say so nfl we'll see what's going on in the next couple months that's all i can pretty much go with right now this is just breaking news recently like a couple of minutes ago it was pretty much rumored but i got the confirmation right now so there you go i'm the news band for you guys all right so 49ers offensive line nfc west let's talk about that real quick this is not going to be a long part of the video but if i had to look at it i'm going to say the 49ers are number one in terms of the offensive line just because of the fact that really the whole nfc west is just sh shambled by this o-line i'm looking at seattle russell wilson running for his life kyler murray running for his life and that was a terrible offensive line but they were able to do kind of okay considering that they had low expectations and the rams they were terrible as well i mean we want to blame golf a lot for the terrible offensive play but you do have to blame the offensive line a little bit too because they had a lot of injuries they just had some bad play this year everybody's offensive line is a little bit in shambles but the 49ers out of everybody in the nfc west i think they have the best one is it the best in the nfc probably not i think there's some other ones better than us maybe the ravens the saints the eagles are up there as well so 49ers i mean you know the, the addition of trent williams but is that going to be a big change from joe staley i think it's going to be a good change i mean he's a little bit younger he hasn't played football in years also you got some shuffling around with the offensive line and i think it's going to be a good 
thing for the 49ers to, I, I don't know what you want to call it, but I think they're going to do really well for the whole upcoming 2020 campaign, protecting Jimmy Garoppolo more, being able to have a good run offense. I mean, they're the reason why that Raheem Mostert was able to run for 220 plus yards because those holes were really big and anybody could run through. I mean, I'm pretty sure us regular Joe guys could probably just run through those offensive line and just run the ball for five plus yards per carry because I mean that's how good they were but yeah I'm looking at the NFC West it's not really that good to be honest with you but if I had to pick a clear winner it'd be the 49ers and then everybody else down whatever order you want to pick I really don't care because all those teams in 2019 they didn't really do a good job protecting their respective quarterbacks and they suffered a little bit Wilson on the other hand I mean he could just make anything happen so if you had a terrible offensive line he could make something happen if you had a great offensive line that'll make him even more dangerous so you know you have to take and count that but yeah that's pretty much it you guys pretty quick video just pretty casual i don't know if you want to call it breaking news just making this off the top of my head and yeah i'm gonna keep it like that please let me know what you guys think about the nfl season well is it a go is everything okay for this upcoming year in a couple of months 49ers what do you think about the offensive line for the nfc west i like what you have to say in the comments below if you guys like this please like and subscribe that's gonna definitely help me out a lot i'll be catching you guys up probably tomorrow on a wednesday when i continue my nfc west series and and then I'll get into training camp. That should be fun right there. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Go Niners all day. Bye-bye.